When I got pregnant, I went through all the normal procedures, you know? I did the prenatal and all the other exams. But the day he was born, the doctor came to talk with us and he said that that the boy was born with a small problem, that he was born with a crooked foot. He was born with a deficiency on his right foot. It was going to lean somewhat towards the inside. The boy was not going to step normally. He was going to step with the side of his foot. I saw that my grandson's legs were bad. One? It was a little, but the other was a lot. And I thought, my God, will my son have to use crutches? And those metal support for his legs and all those things? I had many awful nightmares. I was looking at my son as a young boy, still stepping crooked with his feet turned to the inside. So then my wife said, no, you don't have to worry. We're not going to look for a doctor. The doctor will be the doctor of all doctors. It was through the Faith Show program that the Lord Jesus came into my life. She found out that Dr. Soares was coming, that to, to our city it was going to be a crusade. The Lord is going to heal my son. Through this, through this prayer of Dr. Soares during this service, I was still all swollen after having the baby, but I said, no, I will go. I didn't look at the difficulty. So then I said, Lord, use Dr. Soares to talk about my baby's little foot. The event Camila is referring to took place on August 11th, 2009, in the city of São Mateus, in the state of Espírito Santo, a nearby town from where she lives. And during the program, he said, those who have a problem, put your hands on it. I immediately put my hand on his foot and on his belly as well. Soon afterward, Dr. Suarez said like this, I recall as if it were today. That little child that from the womb of the mother came with a problem, Jesus is healing at this very moment. As a minister of the Word of God, I rebuke at this very moment every disease that entered the life of this child ever since the mother's womb. So they were born with this problem. I said, yes, that's my son. I said, no, this word simply couldn't have been clearer. Yes, it's my son, Artur. So I took possession at that very moment and said, I believe, Jesus, that you have healed my son. It just happened all of a sudden. When he finished praying, my wife immediately screamed. She started running. God is doing wondrous things right now. What happened to you? Jesus healed my son's foot. It was crooked ever since he was in Bring my belly. Bring him up belly. here, please. <laughs> Glory to God, hallelujah. Our Lord Jesus is amazing, folks. Because you're wonderful, my Bring son is Bring him up healed. here. <gasps> this is what God wants to do here today, folks. Jesus healed his foot. I felt at that moment something extraordinary. Tell me what happened, sister. Jesus healed my son at the moment you said the prayer. What was his foot like? It was simply crooked, twisted to the inside, but Jesus did his work Look right Look how beautiful now. this is, brethren. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I'm so happy. I have no words to you. Thank you just have to thank Jesus. Oh, Jesus, thank God. How old is he, thank sister? Thank the Lord, Jesus. He's going to be two months. What's his name? Artur. Artur, you've been greatly blessed. Hallelujah. And I noticed as the days and months went by, where there was a little mark on his crooked foot, all of a sudden it started to disappear, and his foot was being straightened. And there we saw that his foot was... It went back to normal. It stretched because his nerves were short. When she arrived home, she was so excited. She said, Mommy, my son has been healed. His foot is completely perfect to the honor and glory of the Lord Jesus. He plays around and runs normally like every child. He jumps, he's normal. He runs, he plays soccer. He does everything a normal child does. He has so much energy. It's beautiful to watch him. He's a blessed child. My foot is normal. Jesus healed me. Arthur is already six years old. And after he was healed, he had no more problems. With an enormous gratitude to the Lord, Camila is faithful to the calling of sponsoring the program that reached out to her life many years ago. It's a calling. In my life from the Lord, I felt my heart burning with the desire to be a sponsor. I signed up on that very day of the service, the day he was healed. The same way Jesus reached out to me, I also want very much Jesus to reach out to the lives of other people. He loves them. For me, the Lord God is everything. He's the foundation of everything. I want to be able to love him more. I want to respect him more. I want to honor him. The Lord Jesus is good. 